Okay. Got something that's a little bit geared more towards the, the DIY folks out there. Went by a recycler here that sells everything they got for 10 cents a pound. Uh, and I found this. This is a three-phase permanent magnet motor. And it is a discard. I, I can tell why it's a discard. Just turning it, you can hear a bunch of grinding in the back. Uh, so this back bearing is, is bad. And it's probably uh, causing problems with whatever they were using it for. Uh, if this pans out into something, I'll probably pop this off and see if I can replace that bearing and we'll go from there. Uh, but it is a 12 step permanent magnet three phase motor. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work for a wind turbine or any kind of turbine because it's got a lot of cogging, but we'll see. Uh, what we're going to do right now, we're just going to put the drill on it, do a bit of a bench test, see what it does. Uh, I have it connected by its you know, wiring harness to my little controller over here, and it is going to two 12-volt batteries that are hooked up in series. Right now the batteries show 25.3 volts, and we are going to be running it with my DeWalt drill. Uh, this drill is rated for 2700 RPM, but I highly doubt it actually will get that fast, especially after using it to test the Easter Breeze, since it got a little smoky doing that. But we're going to see what happens. Let's go ahead and hit that. Two hundred and forty watts and seven amps. Now that's running with this drill. Uh, the 7 amp seems to be about where this drill stops pushing. Uh, let's do that. I want to see a cap one more time. Alright, yeah. About 240 watts, about 7 amps, and I can definitely here, whenever it's turning, it is banging around on the back. So if we push this thing to anything, I'm gonna have to absolutely look at uh, placing that bearing. And maybe whenever we come apart, we can bring it apart, we can look at it and see what's, uh, see if we can maybe help with the cogging a little bit. But it's probably what it is. Uh, I don't know exactly what size. Motor, or rotor we'll have to be looking at. I'm going to have to do some playing with it. But this is going to be a neat little do-it-yourself from scratch project. Kind of from scratch. I guess somebody already made the generator for us. But uh, all the same. If you guys find this uh, kind of stuff interesting, please subscribe. And uh, you'll get notifications for all my new posts. Alright, thank you for watching.